How's your internet connection? Your internet connection on your on the computer. Mm -hmm. Are you good? Okay, we're going to start now. Uh, I know there's a, we have a, a lot more uh, people than usual. You know, I was down in, uh, in Assen to uh, attend the, the hearing, and uh, I guess because of the uh, interest in uh, Agania Heights, decided to ask the board to come and listen to you folks because uh, I think uh, this is going to be a, a hard decision for uh, the board and the legislature to decide if Okoma to like again. Uh, I, before I go on, though, I'd like to uh, to uh, <clears throat> Thank the senator, Senator Tellum. Thank you. You guys are going to make the decisions once and for all. Uh, Dr. Underwood uh, to take over. So, uh, without further ado, Dr. Underwood, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you can introduce the board members. Okay, so all right. This is my panel. Mr. Mayor, Fernando you know, Toto Samdo. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a good time this evening. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm to make this as uh, comfortable as possible because, you know, there's an important matter here for the region. I have with me, this is the actually the committee uh, uh, for the Commission on Nahatugat, the Committee in Nahatugat. She's Jimmy Teria, then she Tercita Flores. Uh, no, uh, what our responsibility is, and I just want to give you a short presentation so everyone is uh, kind of understands what we're trying to do because, you know, sometimes people think we're, we just sort of invented this out of nowhere. Uh, that's not exactly the, the, the case. This is actually a serious responsibility that we have. So we'll take a little bit of a slide here. So there is a law on Guam place name. And the, uh, the, the, the responsibility of uh, uh, deciding on place names placed on the Commission of Tamoro. This has been around for a long time. And the responsibility on that is to try to find uh, traditional place names and try to restore them, try to restore them as much as possible. And so, you know, the question is, of course, is that we, we understand our responsibility and we understand people's sentiment. 
So we take the opportunity to go out and talk to them. So uh, the, for most village names, and I can only think of two that are uh, that could be that will create some controversy. One is Aganya Heights because people think that it should. Some people think it should be Tutuha because most of this is Tutuha, uh, and the other one is Tamuni. And Tamuni is uh, uh, originally a Carolinian word, so people don't know that Tamuni is not really a Chamorro place name. But so the decision is, you know, do you want to change that or do you want to keep it at that? And the other uh, attachment to it now is uh, they say uh, Tamuning, uh, Tuman, uh, Harmon. But in actuality, that's not in law. That's just something they do all the time. Unlike Mung Mung Toto Maiti, which is actually in law. So what we're responsible for doing is two different things. First of all, we're going to do the uh, village uh, place names, the village names. Then secondly, we'll do place names. And place names are a, a different subject altogether, but we'll stick with village names for now. Next slide. So the law that is being changed by the, by the legislature refers to section 403, which establishes the boundaries of the municipalities. And so that those that's the place where the actual official place names are. So that's so uh, just an example, municipality of Hagatnya. Now originally that was municipality of Aganya, but it was changed by law to Hagatnya. Then it gives the boundaries and it has a lot of different place names in that boundary. Okay. Next slide. Aganya Heights. Now let's go back to Aganya Heights. This is how it's written in the law. It, it refers to Aganya Heights Pa'asan in parentheses, and then it establishes uh, the boundaries. That's the, the official law that, uh, that, uh, that uh, will be affected by any recommended changes. First, most of you know that Pa'asan is actually only a little bit of Aganya Heights, the Pati Pantre Sabana. So, you know, for whatever reason, that's what's in the law. So that's how it's written in the law. Uh, the next slide, I'll show you. And I'll go back to that slide. Aganya Heights is not officially a municipality. The, all these other, Aganya Heights is not officially a municipality. Um, and that's something the legislature has to figure out because it has to do with paying your property tax. So uh, the way that the, it was writ, written originally, I think, Again, you have to, if you pay your property tax and you look at your tax bill, it will say it won't say again. You have to. It'll say Sinanya. It'll say municipality of Sinanya. So even I live in Tamuning, uh, my tax bill says I'm a suburban area of Dededo. I didn't know Tamuning was a suburb of Dededo, but according to the property tax rules, it is. So that has to be changed in accordance with. Uh, uh, by the legislature. So next slide, Asan. So I just point this this one out, just to point out that the uh, the responsibility of the Commission is in Otsamoro is to take a place name like Asan and then spell it according to the way it's pronounced in Chamorro. And so if you say it, Asan, it's actually two S's. It's not Asan, it's Asan. So you, there's two S's in that. And then the people of Asan wanted to add Maina to it. So the recommended change that we're sending to the, we've already, we're going to forward it to the legislature uh, early next week is Asan dash Maina. So that's, that's how that works. Okay. Next slide. So our plan is to go through each of the villages. Uh, everyone here has been resolved, except for Ghana Heights for Central. And then on uh, Northern, we're gonna go to, uh, in June, we're gonna have a meeting like this in uh, Tamuni. And then we'll recommend some names for that and then forward them to the legislature uh, for their action, right? The next thing is actual place names. Now place names are different than the village names. So all of you are familiar with that. There's Tutuhan, Pa'asan, Fonte, Akugan, Didigi, 
Cha or Asa means. All of those are place names. And so the responsibility of the commission is to research the place names, which the mayor has been cooperating with. So he's going to give me five elders from Aganya Heights. And I'm, we're going to talk to them and say, where's Pa'asan begin and end? Where's Ponti? Where's that? And I was the he's not here, but uh, where's uh, Apuga? Where does it begin and end? So that those names will be properly recognized. So that's the plan on that. The responsibility of the commission is to try to research and find the original place names as close as possible. So for most purposes, uh, that's not too hard. Some people just remember things differently, but the other problem is plan unit development. So fortunately, you don't have any plan unit development here in uh, Ganya Heights. So, like for example, uh, Baza Gardens or uh, Dura 501 or No Downtown or um, uh, what's another one? Jonestown, Harrisville, Harris Acres. Every time somebody does a plan unit development, it sort of puts out of focus the original place name. So our responsibility is to try to find the original place and then hopefully put it in and it'll be in Google Maps. So that if you're looking like one day, you'll say, I want to go to Infusion and I want to find all the infusions in Tamune. And it'll say, oh, there's one in uh, Oka, there's one in Sakpun. Uh, and it'll tell you that because that, that Google Maps is going to follow the place time link uh, that uh, we come up with. Of course, the problem there is the plan unit development. You know, so for most of my life, the mountain is not neto. The school is not neto. The school is not neto. First grade, second grade, the school is not neto. 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 The school is but half an hour so on, but half an hour on that on a look at in the Basha Gardens on this Dimapana and Basha Gardens. The Haji almost the Risha to Sha, Napara Shina Matulaika in Africa. That's the kind of struggle that we're in. So it's not a not an easy one to sort out, but sometimes people love the the, the identification. You know, the the uh, the young men of Basha Gardens, they call themselves. The BG boys. So you go down to Basel Gardens, you see BG boys written on the in graffiti, you know. So there's some identification with that. So it's not actually easy to do. Uh, Windward Hills. Windward Hills has businesses attached, has a golf course. So the original name for that area is Maleto. So what happened to Maleto? And is Maleto making a comeback? And should come back? That's the question. So for us, the responsibility is to, uh, is restoration. You name your children for a reason. You want them to have a, an identification and you people want to identify with the place that they live. And they want to, they feel comfortable with the place that they live. And they know the story of the place that they live. That's really the, that's what we're trying to do. So uh, this is not some uh, uh, crazy scheme we thought of. Uh, it's consistent with the law. Uh, after we're done with the Ganyahat and Tamuni, I think the real fun starts when we go to the place names and we start dealing with the plan unit development. Next slide. That's the, we're supposed to develop with the plan use commission, a plan for uh, how to deal with uh, Plan unit development. Uh, this is really uh, a tough issue. Uh, it's a tough issue in many places. It's a tough, it's a tough issue in Hawaii you know, because the, the developer has a right. It's because they own property. Do they have a right to change the name? Some developers did not. Ipapa Estate. Ipapa Estate up in Dededo. They used the place name originally. Ipapa. 
that some place names were kind of eliminated. Right? So we're working with the federal government, map makers, Google Maps, Apple Maps, and uh, eventually these are going to show up in, in the, those features. You're gonna, you're gonna look at it, and hopefully what you'll be able to do is uh, when you uh, Google on Paasa, it'll tell you where Paasa is, and then it'll tell you a little story about it. So you'll know what was going on in Paasa. But that's the, the whole purpose of trying to uh, get people to kind of identify with their place, understand the full nature of how uh, uh, this community was and how it was seen over the decades. Next slide. The old map, Fresenay map, 1819. Some of these, you'll see the place names very clearly. Next, map, next slide. 1945, this was the this is the military's view of Guam. Uh, and it's all carved up in the military bases. <laughs> that that uh, slide, that uh, index on the side there has the island all divided up into military facilities. And then the next slide, Department of Land Management, Man, Land Division map. And then here we are, at again. That's it. You have any questions? Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and take uh, people. I, I don't know if they had a sign-up sheet. We're happy to sit here and listen to people and their opinions. Uh, you know, because there's a lot of people, we ask that you try to keep your comments under five minutes. But before I allow that, before I open it up, I want to uh, thank the mayor. I want to thank uh, Senator Bicycle for being here. I want to thank uh, former Senator Narissa Underwood for uh, being with me this evening. She said, I might need protection. <laughs> <laughs> she says, you might need protection. I'm going to go with you. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. I appreciate her presence very much. So before I open the floor for a commentary, uh, I'm you know, your opinion on uh, what we, what your recommendation on what we should be doing. Uh, are there any questions on anything that I, I, I know it, I went through it pretty quickly, but I wanted people to understand that what we're doing is according to the law, nothing we made up all of a sudden and just completing the process. Wow, you guys are great students. Are you ready for the test? <laughs> For most of the, the spelling will be changed. And so, you know, it just takes time to kind of accommodate to that. Uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, we had the mayor of uh, Agate uh, stand up and uh, he said, he wants to change it to Haga. And uh, he's happy with that. And he says, and all the Agate boys that tattooed Agate <laughs> on their stomach are not going to have to add an H. <laughs> so it's something that people will get used to. Uh, you know, as long as they understand the, the underlying purpose. It was like when they changed Hagatnya, when they changed the Ganya to Hagatnya, uh, people said, well, nobody's ever going to say Hagatnya. They'll never say Hagatnya. Now everyone says Hagatnya. Uh, they'll, the, the, there'll be, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars spent on, uh, on, uh, on stationary cards. Well, it just changes over time. And I tell people, as long as you have the right zip code, it's going to get to you because the post office doesn't read it. They just read the numbers. So uh, all of that is uh, just going to be kind of part of the process. For some, it'll be kind of startling because they've never seen it in print that way. Well, I don't know that there's any funding dedicated to it, but it will take some time. I think it's the same thing with Hagatnya. When it changed to Hagatnya, 
it was just assumed that the next time they put up a sign, they would follow the, uh, the, the East Coast. That's, that's basically what happened. Oh. Well, the Tuhan is the, the name that most people suggest. Oh, yes, my question. What do the Tuhan mean? I don't know. Well, see, I can tell you why we have forgotten. Okay. Finish this story. We were in the elementary school. We were going down the path. I got this. I don't know why we, all the students were getting down to a lot And we were being lost by the Marines. And the Marines asked us, what is the name of that place? And we go in other words, Anis Anis answer. You cannot pronounce a document, only a document. Now, our Samora are very happy that the Marines who were here in war when we were at Paningo. I have a call. And they milk that cow for my sister because she's still a baby. There's no food. They need, there's no food. So my mother said, let's kill the cow and we distribute. Everything was in order. Okay? Now, some people lining up, trying to give my mother the money, something of money. My mother said, what am I going to do with that money? This is free. So, uh, we are expecting that we're going to die because we have no more food. So, the next morning, I went to the jungle to take a tiffin. To take a tiffin. Or I told my rings. And they are asking me where's the jams. They tapped me out. They gave me uh, something to do. Now, this is an honest mistake, the Marines. You cannot pronounce that name, only a Ghana. So uh, we love what the Americans did to the people of the world. In Manango, they start giving us food. They build a hospital, daddy, and they give 24 hours uh, a, a, a tree. Because we have been eating bananas and, and chuni, then come the lots of So we go to the toilet, so they do that all the time. Then they give us uh, a tent because it's raining. Now the Marines did a very good job for us. So uh, the principle is. Uh, they found, yeah, they passed a paper to vote uh, which do we want, Aganaj or Tutuan. They vote for it, Aganaj. We follow the Marines. As an appreciation, the least we can do is to appreciate what they did for us tomorrow. Very good. So we name it again. We vote for it. When we were at the uh, elementary school, I was on the third grade before the war. Then after the war, I'm on the third grade again. <laughs> so again, was an honest mistake by a Marines again because they cannot pronounce that name. And as a matter of fact, I don't know what a name means. Do you know what a government is? Yes, I think that's what. He was in on some and then Ram Lugat, the Vikit out of Manasaka, a Panana and Song Song. But then the Latin to do is a song, the Miki thing at out of a Panana Haga. But you must don't pull on a song, must hog and busy hog that. Come back. It is a good thing to join. 
So, you know, those, those, that's just one explanation. Uh, the, the, the place names are, uh, uh, and, and I'm glad that you pointed this story out, Mr. Power, because that's a very important historical uh, dimension to this. But place names, ordinarily, when a place name, you do not know its meaning, usually that means that place name is older than the place name that you do know its meaning. And so, like, I'll just give you two examples, man. Uh, Adekal, Adekal, and uh, Astungu. Adekal, we have no idea what that means, but we know it's been there a long time. Astungu, well, we don't know who Tumbo is, but it's named after him. <laughs> so it's named after Tumbo. It's Tumbo's property. So the more, uh, actually, the more transparent a name is, the more recent it is. And so by, by, by explaining that story, it actually shows that again, it has been very recent. Okay, uh, it, does anyone want to, I don't know if we want to do this formally or we'll just take anybody who wants to come up. Anybody, please raise your hand. Okay, all right, we'll repeat the question. And then someone, please use the mic as well. Please use the mic. Anyone? I'm pretty loud. <laughs> I was just saying her question was very good. The one in front of me. Her, her question was very good, actually, because it's a big concern is the changing of a name has great deal of ramifications all over the world. It's going to cost a lot of money, unnecessarily cost. Change of name everywhere. I mean, because I remember they went through this with Montgomery. Yeah? The cost to change to Mongolia was costly. And you know, you would question what was the why, what's the importance of it. And so she asked a good question, and you said you don't know how much it's going to cost. You don't even have a budget for it. So I mean, it's a good concern for her. Who's going to pay for this, the, the name for everything in the Ganya Heights? The, the name. It's not just going to be a Ganya Heights. A Ganya Heights going to have to do with no pay, plus the, the government of Guam and everybody else. It's going to be very costly. All right. Thank you. Uh, you want to say your name? Oh, Sharon. Sharon. O'Malley. Sharon O'Malley. Raise the issue of that. Uh, I just want to uh, mention that uh, uh, for the longest time, I, I've known that there are place names. As little as Asan is, there are several place names just in Asan alone. <coughs> Aganya, several place names just in Aganya. Aganya Heights, they have said, why do you have to change the village name? Why not just include place name? Why change the, the village name, which everybody is familiar with? Like every history, history changes as we go through life, right? I don't mind the place name because I, I know where Paas is. I know, you know, but I would like to know the boundary of those areas. But, you know, to change the village name, uh, to step back in time to a place that we no longer, uh, we, no one knows what those words mean anymore, this is uh, fruitless. Fruitless. But if you want, you know, I know that the, every every village has place names. I'd be interested in that. I'd like to know something about the history of that. But to be honest with you, my dad's going to be 90 in October. And he was only like 10 or 11 when the war started. How many of them are left? We're dealing with uh, uh, a culture that has really changed a lot since, you know, the time of the war, even before the war. So that's all I have to say. Is I I I like to to know the place names, but please, I don't see the reason for changing the village name. Havatya has plenty place names, you know, and uh, 
Um, like the only reason I know about that is because I go to the Mark Library. How many people go to the Mark Library? That's all I have to say. Okay, thank you, Renee. All right. Are you from Go? 
people do business move. Man, he's from Guam. You know, the point is, if Puntu then, the bottom bit, the last seat, but as the truly top seat, he had this in the online, he sent some. Organize, don't put up a corner to me on my family, and then you put to to my collector. It's a mapazuni, you might hold in. Long, or do you look at the square? Pampa, I don't know. I didn't know how that yeah. Yeah, you get to what you want. Again, Heights, and I did this a little. No, woman in the to a to I hear the the my to break the army to be a stain or something. Not to talk. Father must not be in his teeth. But they ask them to say, when my Zuka, he is a sutum. When my left hand, how does he see her? How does he hear? Pita, a famous little puncture on it, the rubbing recipes of the Nana Bullam before Master didn't slap that. In the body, in the Tura, in the Nala, fine, and after like a Tukuran, the Turan talks of the hour of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're independent, but it's the line. This is nice, man. The moving is about the public, the public side is matters. So, the Magar in the Mark Luke Moore, he should send it to the university school. Magar used my studio here. That other one, uh, Pobos, who has a PhD in doctorate? So the press of a Hindu. Who has a Hindu knows to today history of Guam, Asian Timor, the Kwanon, Manon and Mangadi, where's our roots? Wow. But to do it now, do look quick again. Taza, Dini, Manana, the Manilo, the only thing here. It's the spelling. <laughs> Love, you put thought in the patal, say it, but it's that with two hands. It's personas, it's in your, then it's expressed with the parejo. It's not the same. We all experience different things. We all been there, up there, down there, to play that way. Northeast, which is. So often, when my son, when you found you, Manu Mohan is a lot of it, not a lot of it. Oh, my nice and funny. I'll go on. I can't understand this time. It's too much. I don't know. I'm going to pass it to tax. To tax. Hi. Tax. I'm going to move on. I think we need to move on. Yeah. The man is just a turn and he's suffering and money. I've been wanting to talk, even if you wish you were to go back, talk up to comment this up. But it's a moral problem. This can put it in the Dr. Belisa, come up to the 
Pesa home menu ni 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 yo madam ni. Guahan kung tama. Guahan man si niyo. People has feelings. Is in his testimony. As the game of God hit. Pato tuhan. Is in his testimony. Aga na ita. Tuhan. Oh, my Lord, oh, my auntie. I don't know if you're I'm not going to compare. And then, eh? it's the most simplest thing in the world, or the hardest thing to understand. But yes, as humans, we can accept this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Can you hear me? My name is Augusto Salas Delgado. I emphasize the name because the uh, basis for my uh, for my presentation tonight is that Aganya Heights is composed of not only people, but families. They are the Artero families, Cruz families. They are the Joa families. They're the McDonald's. They are the Indalatios. First, the Delgados. Uh, all these families are gelled into a very harmonious type relationship. And uh, consequently, Afghania Heights has been and is probably the only village where there is love. Love among people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's one point only in Ganya Heights that uh, made the village wonderful. The other one is the educational system. That's where this guy came into the picture. And at first came in, it came up from Bradley to compound in Niba. The Tuhan has already named Kagania Heights. And uh, that's when the, the uh, elementary school was named Kagania Heights Elementary School with a finished for Halloween Taitano Salam. That's your auntie. Yeah. You may know that now. Yeah. <laughs> and then not only is founding the principal, but you have the mother of Dr. Underwood, the teacher. And then you have George Flores, who is also your relative, right? And uh, quite a number of other uh, teachers are there that are interrelated. And they all seem to have that common thing that defines the Ghanaians. Harmony. A Ghana High Elementary School presents all of us a harmonious environment. That's the second part of Aganya Heights. Aganya Heights is a very conservative village. Why is it that we have a five term mayor here on Aganya? Before him, there were four terms, even three terms, and the first one being uh, 
Commissioner. Now, they can say the thought they give me now. It's a little bit good. Continue to have the same leader for a number of years. That means that the people are satisfied with what is going on. Sure, there are some problems here again. Yes. Where I live in Taibigo, there's still no more, no, no uh, profession for a for a biohazard. Uh, and when it flooded, I had to spend $1,525 to create a buffer or a, a channel so that water will go to the natural uh, drainage area. But it's still pretty good. I mean, you know, I, I didn't complain. I didn't. In, uh, the mayor's back for not asking about the works to be able to fix it. Now we have a village. I see Joe, you know, there, and it reminds me of the choir. Aganya Heights, I don't know if it has to, but Aganya Heights during Frank Cruz time. As the best choir <laughs> and uh, so that the that defines and I will never change. I don't want this village to change. This place will be called Aganya Heights until I die. I don't plan to die until I'm hungry. Or we're here. <laughs> anyway, I I'm pleased to be here tonight because of uh, because of uh, so-called changes that are coming up, and uh, I think they meant well. You know, the senators, what's my Sabrina? There you are. This next week I met well with the changes of the names. I also pushed it. Yeah, the here we go. Okay. I'm busy just messing with you. I'm sorry, I'm in the range, but not. I'm not again. Yes, again, yes. That's an honest mistake. Yeah, that's okay. It's a good mistake. It's true, then, or are some of you see it? That That's good. Yeah. And uh, wait, wait, where is the mute? <laughs> <laughs> that? So, uh, those are the three basic uh, things about a Ganyan the harmony, the love, the education, and uh, and you will forever be that way. For as long as I live. Like I said, I don't intend to die until the hundred, so it will still be a guy. Now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank I don't know what to do. <laughs> See, so we cannot name something we don't know. Well, I think it's we've already a, covered that. Uh, okay. it's, a, it's a word for that, but I won't mention it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a nice word. Boring. In the tutuhan. What do you think of the name? Tutuhan. This is where it started. Okay. I can't. We're 15 at the two hoon. Okay. Anyone else, please? Okay. Come on. Come on. 
Hi, good evening. Um, Your name? My name is uh, Joe Aquino, and uh, I am a uh, council member for the FEC of the Gallia Heights. Um, I am a resident. I've been living here for 34 years. Uh, I'm from Burgada originally, married to Gagne Heights, so I moved to Gagne Heights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyways, uh, when I received the survey to vote for the name change of Gagne Heights to Tulhan, after reviewing the survey, I called Mayor McDonald right away, and I was telling him that I did a research as, as a great, as a... Uh, for practical law in high school. And my concern about it was because Stulehan originally is Sidahanya Nagani Heights. That's the original name back even during the Spanish time. And my concern is do we really want to name Nagani Heights to Stulehan? Where does Sinhanya come in on this in the future? Is Sinhanya going to be part of this village? Are we going to be one with Sinhanya? My mother grew up in Sinhanya. She grew up in Afrin. Uh The the family is uh, the Cortis. But this family, 
the uh, the Om Peru and and the Bela family, which is the Borha. Also related to the Dasu, correct? But anyways, you know, there's a lot of of uh, things that the Gani Heist has went through and succeeded. We don't know what Sinahani has done in their, in their past, and what they're doing <laughs> in their future, but I know where we're headed to. Now, my concern with the mayor is that, are we really going to name a Gani Heist to hand, which, which would include, should include Sinahani, because that is the name of Sinahani and the Gani Heist together. That's one. And I was telling the mayor that, that this village, Tutuhan goes all the way to Orde, all the way to Mai Mai Chalampaugu, to Mong Mong. Tutsugu is in Mong Mong, but the pipeline. My mother has property there. All the way to the swamp of Aganya, to Mong Mong. If you take that, the road going to the church, from Mong Mong all the way to Tutsugu. Everything on the on the left side is Mongmo MTM on the right side of Mongmo Casimiro Street. That's all Sinahanya or Tutuhan. That was my research. Uh, other students took other villages for their research. So yeah, the, the thing the, that upset me more was that. I know that they passed the law for Hagatnia, for Ghana to be changed to Hagatnia, but I did not know that that law also included all the villages' to name to be changed. And, you know, a lot of people don't make it down to the public hearing to listen to this introduction of this bill introduction to change the name of our villages which is unfair, and, and that's why I asked the mayor, because you know, it is not right for us to go down to Asan for the whole central to meet there and to, to speak on behalf of our, our community, because that meeting is gonna take a long time. It would be better if the commission or the committee come here to organize and have the organized people talk to them. Because there's going to be a lot of concerns. Just we get. I think we've gone over more than a, an hour and a half just talking about Agani Heights. You know, and th th that is a concern to me. Is that there's a lot of things that the people of Agani Heights has done and have succeeded and, and made Agani Heights the number one village in the island. Why? Because when they get together, they get together to work together and to make things happen as a community. That's it. Not only not only what happens socially, but even religiously at the church. The people of Agania gets together. Apparently, this pandemic is keeping us from from getting together as a community. So I believe that um, it is unfair that they pass this law instead of without going from village to village to let people know what the intent is and for them to say yes or no. You know, I believe that that was wrong. I think, uh, and I'm glad that you guys are coming out here or this, this commission is coming out here to talk to us about it, but is it late? Is it too late because it's already into law? No, I'll explain that if you want me to. I can explain it to you. I'll, I'll go over that part again. Okay, this okay. it's fine. All right, thank uh, you. When you're done, when you're done. Oh, uh, anyways, thank you very much. That's <laughs> what I have to say. That's why I, I took the time to explain what the responsibilities of the commission uh, the law requires that the uh, village place the village names be spelled according 
to the orthography and according to traditional Chamorro pronunciation. So that's why ascent is going from A-S-A-N to A-S-L-A-N. That's, that's the basic law. Now, along the way, people are suggesting that maybe some village names should be changed. But the only village names that, have, that are kind of enduring that uh, consideration are Agana Heights and maybe Tamuni. And that's it. No one else is coming forward and saying, let's join that to something else, or let's change Sinahanya to Sutuhan. Your research is correct. Sutuhan is a larger area, uh, but this area was also known as Sutuhan. And, you know, elders have told me that over and over. So that's, that's basically uh, the, the reality. So we're not, uh, we're not here to impose anything. It, it, it's the exact opposite. We're, we're here in a very different way because, you know, we, we, uh, we, we had the three meetings planned and then because your mayor spoke up and asked, we said, okay, we'll do it. That's why we're here. It's not, uh, not, we're not here trying to impose anything. We're just here to listen to people and hear what they have to say about it. And it's pretty clear um, what a lot of voices are saying. Yes, sir. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. My name is Mark Aquino. I'm from Identity Heights. I'm trying to make this quick because so I came here to play volleyball, right? I came late. I came here to play volleyball, so I didn't hear everything. But I do know that there is an intent to change the village name, uh, which I am against. Uh, and so, in my opinion, uh, what do you call it? We gotta we gotta look at what's important, right? What is the village? What is what is uh the the village supposed to provide, right? And so to me, a village, are you able to worship regardless of your religion? Are you able to worship in your village? We have that, right? Are we able to educate? Do we have the outreach programs or uh, the ability to keep not uh especially the youth but even the adults we have programs in place where uh we can keep the community busy we have that how safe is the village how clean is the village these are important stuff and changing changing what we call the village isn't going to change those statistics right and so maybe we're focusing on the wrong thing we should be focusing on improving all of those areas of the village. Uh, and so that's why I'm against it is regardless of what you call it, unless the community actively uh, changes those statistics, uh, it really doesn't matter what it's called. But obviously there is a big sediment, sedimental uh, attachment to our village. And that's why again, Heights is the best because our, our village is proactive and or active. So those are the things that I feel we should be focusing on and not necessarily what, what we call or just the words that we see, right? So thank you. Thank you, Mark. Have a good day. Thank you. Anyone else want to say something? Yes, sir, Mr. McDonald. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. This is my sixth little court. You were my teacher at the GW and UOG. <laughs> my name is Jim McDonald, the mayor's brother, and I want to thank my brother for you know creating this discussion here. I think it's very uh very fruitful, you know, that, uh, that this discussion comes up and uh, you can agree or disagree.
you know, I can it's a very unique, uh, you know, village. What are your parents and family? What are you know, Carillo, Tato, Salas, Mariano, Stock, Sinanao, you know, and you know, that's why I wanted to come up here and talk to so We're originally from Common Paisin, Sinanao, Tato, Monogi, Alpis, Togai, San Ramon. Right down here in Agana, right? That's the top. You know, that's the main, you know, they used to call and, you know, show back San Ramon. Just, you know, we moved up to Agana, you know, years ago. Like, we tried staying down there in Agana, but we got one of those in a temple. You know, I think this creates a, you know, a good discussion. So, you know, me, I'm a very strong advocate for, you know, Chamorro. You know, and this and that, and I always agree on you know, you know, the majority of people and what they have to say. So, you know, the more people that put in their two cents, the better it is for our society. And, you know, that's the beauty of Akanya Hacks is, you know, everybody puts their, you know, their two cents together and, uh, you know, make a good decision. So, you know, I'm not in support, you know, changing that way for that very reason that, uh, you know, our, we have a strong net community here and uh, you know <laughs> To be one that told the shape of the Chaplan, then it's a million series, then she's a Titan, then she's an Augustine, so then it's a shiny Yakasman out of Ghana, I told the camera for the test. But I'm not looking at parties among them, and I'm going to and Okay, anyone else wants to talk? I think we've covered the topic pretty good, but we'll go ahead. Yes, sir. Come on up, introduce yourself. And you know, this is being uh, this is being on Zoom, so uh, you're uh, you're you're all being very famous this evening. Good evening, boss. You're very reason. Talk to the camera. I'm so. I'm doing that too. Talk to you. Come on. Right. I'm not going to lie. Compared to compared to these things that we got in Ghana, it's a bit together. How do I get that? Even that together. It's, it's, a, it's like a barrier, it's a geographical barrier. Okay, uh, like the gentleman earlier said, it's a big area, which is what they're recommending in Chapin. Yeah. That's right. So I'm against changing the name simply because there was growing up a Samanya and a, a Ganya and he's after the war. I'm to get up with our lunch to the end of the project and I think it's a good thing. So simply for that reason, we have no history. Okay, not like Georgia or Assam. Okay, because there was no history. Um, and again, let me just rephrase because of that, I'm against changing the name because uh, what you have stated earlier that there's a historical link. We didn't exist till after the war. Again, we were devastated by the Japanese and the Americans during the, uh, the war. A lot of people moved out of the and moved up to here. My father was born and raised down in the UK. You don't know what the music is, it's down there with women. Mm -hmm. Ghana has a lot of different areas, geographical areas, and then it's a We settle for that and why? Because as we explain, it's the beginning of the new history. 
And there was no mistake in how that I got named. I'm not sure I am mistaken. And for that reason alone, I would like to thank the panel for this. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Yes, come on up. Oh, you know, I, I didn't type the thing. But you have to edit the email by someone or someone. Okay, I'm very loud. Okay. That's okay. You can be as loud as you want. Okay. But Sharon, I'm already done. And it's down now. Okay. You know, until you told me uh, why the Danny Heights became the Danny Heights, I did not know. I could see them change the name, listening to what he said and to what Earl just said, too. There's a reason that Danny Heights became, and it's a very nice reason. That should be locked down in your history books as to how Danny Heights got the name. You know, I mean, I didn't know. That's the first time I ever heard and found out why Danny Heights is the Danny Heights. Oh, yeah, and it's beautiful. Very, very no, the story is very beautiful. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Your Ghana Heights should be proud of how you got your name. It, it's just so touching. And I like the way I'm originally from Jonia. That's why I'm sitting here, you know. <laughs> you know, and so people are like, oh, since you're from Jonia. I, I am originally from Jonia, but I've been here since the 90s. So I, I've been here a long time. My kids have been here. And so what it is is Listening to everybody talk, it's true. I met the family. They make a Ganya Heights, a Ganya Heights, and they made a Ganya Heights, a Ganya Heights. Now that I know where the name came from, I, I'm with you. I would not want to change the name because it means something to you. And it's so beautiful, the, the history of it. At least we can do for the marriage. That, oh, yes. Believe me, my, my, my mom, but you know, they suffered. They were from Haganya and Sumai, and they suffered a lot. But, and they totally respect the Marines. And I, I understand what you're saying. I thank you for that history and thank you again. If I, I please don't change the name, it's really nice. And, and you know, back to the cost. <laughs> I was just looking at the cost that you were talking about. You were so right. That's a lot of cost involved. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, like uh, there used to be a chairman of the House Resources Committee by the name of Mo Yudong. After a long public hearing, he would say, everything that can be said has been said, but not everybody's had a chance to say it. <laughs> so the question is, does anyone else want to say, want to add to this? Okay, well, thank you very much. And I'll, I'll turn it back to the mayor. Lo Claudus Titano. Public hearing. You know, there's a lot of stuff being said out there that is not exactly on target. The commission is not in charge of boundaries. The, 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 we're not in charge of the designating municipalities or not. All we're responsible for is researching the place name and we're basing that on the knowledge of people from the village. We're not, we're not inventing these terms. This, this comes from maps. This, is, this doesn't come, I just, uh, we just decided, uh, hey, this is good. This is not how it works. <laughs> This is something that is based on research and also consulting uh, 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 elders. And you know, the elders that I consulted here for Ghana Heights, all three of them told me that in the beginning, but you know, we, 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 that's, that's history. That's just the reality of it. But for us, I just want you to know that uh, you know, this is a very special moment for uh, all of you. You've spoken about a sense of pride, a sense of belonging, a sense of community. Uh, you know, may you use this moment to deal with other issues, uh, you know, in order to help make your community better. And as, as uh, Mr. Delgado pointed out, you have, uh, Aganya Heights has the, uh, the knack of uh, 
electing uh, people on an almost permanent basis. Pues, isti ke kalan permanentis ti na mahot bini kita gani ay siyot Paul McDonald. First, I'd like again to thank everybody for being here tonight. You know, I think it's the the most uh, it's the most anybody has had you know, so far. Yeah, I, really, I can create more controversy if you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you know I believe that uh, they are here tonight because they're concerned, and uh, you know, from uh, from just hearing all the uh, history. Mr. Salas, that's the first I've heard of that uh, story. That but it's, you know, uh, like honest mistake. Honest mistake. <laughs> you cannot pronounce a government or a government. Right. Very good. But uh, now that we know, you know, um, a lot of you guys, uh, the roots are actually in Hatapne. We've actually. Uh, migrated over a lot of our uh, original family that uh, are here in the Ghana Heights are uh, actually from uh, Hagatna, most of them. Uh, Mr. Delgado, my party, had mentioned some of the original uh, people that had lived here in the Ghana Heights and they still live here in the Ghana Heights. Uh, people like Mike, Mike Schwab, I'm glad that you're here. So you you learn our history. Over 30 years. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> Over 30 years, man. And uh, his family, too. They're very active and uh, civically in uh, the church. And uh, we thank you for that because we uh, actually welcome uh, people in no your family. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. And uh, that is Mike Swap. Okay, guys. We don't know already. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it is very important that we learn and we know where we came from and where we're going to go from here on. And um, for that reason, I'd like to show uh, of hands of uh, who is in favor for the changes. Okay, who's opposed of the changes? Okay, so you can see, uh, Dr. Anuwa, that uh, the overwhelming <laughs> response that we keep a Ghana Heights, a Ghana Heights. And you can uh, bet your life that, uh, uh, Senator, are you still here? Yes. <laughs> okay. I brought my back or two. <laughs> okay. so, I, I will not uh, introduce the legislation. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So for that reason, we guys brought you a, a treat tonight. We have a soup and sandwich. Please join us in that. And uh, we can, uh, yes, sir. Yes. I would once again like to speak to you guys. Let's not rewrite history. Whoever heard of the Ghana, I mean, Tutu and Kuku. And they were the number one people. <laughs> <laughs> they were the number one people. Yes. You know, and nobody knows nobody knows Tutu and Kuku. <laughs> <laughs> but Ghana, <laughs> Ghana, 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 Okay. <laughs> so you heard it, guys, from everybody that wanted to speak. I'm sure that most of you guys want to speak, but uh, everybody had spoken. And said what uh, was uh, important. Thank you again, uh, Commissioner. The, I recommend that you recommend uh, the legislation. Okay. okay. Thank you. The Zul Masi. When you get to, I guess I'm up with me thing.
Si Diyos mga si Toru, thank you for joining us today.